Alrighty, we're back up and running with the stream again. I realized I failed to warn the uh, people in TeamSpeak because my microphone is muted. Oops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, we're actually going to wait a little bit for the inevitable ads on Twitch to go by so you know you don't miss much. Uh, during the break, I went and looked at how to do sounds. So I know how to do that now. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> I have this fix me. I'm supposed to try and load all the, uh, <clears throat> sorry. I was originally loading all my sounds here. I basically just added the sounds by reference of sound file. My sound files are over here. These are all the sounds I add. They all have to do with linking. Uh, in order to actually add sounds to Minecraft now, you have to add a JSON file called sounds in the root asset folder, so assets.miscraft in my case. And I've actually moved all my... Uh, sounds from sound.linking to sounds.linking because it doesn't make any difference. Uh, this is the vanilla sounds JSON file. There's this. So I'm working on mine. Already got the pop. So I have to create a one of these for every one of these. And I actually need to put commas between these because it's a JSON file. All right. Link. Link disarm. So you go through and do this on all these. Link portal. Link fissure, interlink, following, and then I'll remove my text from here. Because I definitely play with parsing. All right, there's that. So that should match up fine. Uh, you can see that I use tabs instead of spaces. It shouldn't affect the parsing. Alright, this function no longer does anything. In fact, this, most of this, no longer does anything. Uh, I don't know if sound names is referenced anywhere at all. It's not. And then sound files isn't referenced anywhere except for that event. I really no longer need this handler. So I'll just make a fix me to delete it. Save, save. Let's test it, see if it plays noises. So here's the test. I didn't hear any noise, did you? Nope, no sound. And we'll play empty sound event. Uh, file miscraft sound slash linking dot pop dot org. Oh, I had them in folders. 
Oh. Haha. <laughs> I forgot to actually set the uh, location of these things. Ah, I'm back. Welcome back. Well, thank you. All right, so getting these sounds working together. Okay. Now it should actually point to the right location. Quick game. Let's try it again. Oh, you couldn't see any of that. Here's this. <laughs> I had originally just had them all saying point or dot pop. It's the wrong. It didn't point to anything. This is supposed to be the file location minus dot og. And I screwed it up. So, there we go. Go. Okay. Sound! Zounds! Okay. I have sounds again. That's good. Let's, uh... Commit. So let's go ahead and do that before I do sound handler. Why is help open? Go away. I don't need help. <laughs> All right, so where is this in here? If I delete this, it's going to be an empty package, which is interesting and fine. I don't need to register that. Or included. Apparently, yep. Let's fix it all. Let's make a commit. Okay, so removes old sound event handler. Uh, I actually need to do something real quick here for... I apologize that you can't see this. What I'm doing is I'm running a command uh, bzr space mv space dash dash auto space dash dash dry dash run. So bizarre move auto dry run. Uh, what that means is that it's automatically determining how to map the files I've moved. And then if I remove the dry run, then it automatically moves it. So you can see down here there's this thing for that they're missing. If I refresh now, they've just moved. Which is what I want to do. Uh, that's just part of the removal. That's really part of that removal. Add sounds dot JSON. That's it. Okay. And that fixed the sounds. Huzzah.
Are we okay with our... Oh. Well, I've fixed it anyway, so... Remove? Right. One of the interesting changes for 1.7.2 was that the temperature fields went away. Oh, you can't see. Stupid window doesn't go away. There it goes. Uh, one of the interesting things for this is that the temperature fields went away. Previously, uh, there was this function for get temperatures and return a field of temperatures. That went away. It's no longer in the uh, what's it called? The chunk manager. It's just gone. So if I remove this and that, there's now a whole bunch of problems because I've just removed a bunch of stuff. And those interfaces that were implementing those things are going, hey, I'm implementing something that's not there. And really that's easy to fix because I just remove those functions from everywhere. And yeah, we're done. So. Uh, let's make another commit because that was, you know, that already fixed some things. Let's remove your uh, ba -ba -ba. And this was just a comment removal. And this actually removes the functions. There we go. That's how you're supposed to spell that. Okay. How long have I been programming? Uh, I've been programming since I was nine years old. I am presently 25, so you could do the math on that one. XCOMP. How ready is Mistcraft for 1.7 at the moment? Uh, what needs to be done so it is playable? Uh, I think it's probably playable now. Uh, I'm just going through and fixing things and checking to make sure stuff worked out right and I have a whole bunch of fix me's like right here this is in the link permission system I'm betting there's a bug in the link permission system but also nobody uses it and I'm gonna rewrite it soon anyway so yeah uh, <clears throat> directory Those are for there, and these are interfaces. This interface needs to be revised. Yes, I know. Toggle thundering and weather system. Through weather. Okay, that's all the primary fix me's. Those are all the fix me's that existed, uh, or all these fix me's existed before the move. So I fixed everything that broke in 1.7.2, and in any way looks strange. All the fix me's are covered. So, it works. It should be good. I should be able to push a 1.7.2 dev build to Forgecraft now. That should be fun. Yeah. I, I don't know how to do that yet, though. That. <laughs> I don't know how to actually produce my mod from this Gradle setup. Gradle, uh, Gradle build. build. Okay, well, what does that do? I mean, I'll make a jar file. And that's about a quarter of the entire process for my build scripts. Uh, but we'll try it out real quick. Okay, so I'm going to try and add window capture console. Yes. 
Good guess. Uh, in with, in team speak with me are Prog, Fireball, and Lyra, though and and Root Bear, Root Bear's in there too, but he's currently silent. Hello. Uh, but they're not well, saying Fire, much. Fire and I are working on a project, so we don't want to sit here and talk in your stream while we're working on it. I actually wouldn't mind at all. Not, I don't know if something we want to publicize right now is a thing. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, I think it'd be okay to probably say stuff. I don't. I, don't I, don't I guess we could get community feedback would work. Go for it. I don't know, Fire. You're better at explaining things than I am. All right. Well, I'm just popping open uh, the Twitch feed. Give me a minute. I only have so much window space. Every time I add another monitor to my computer, somehow I run out of window space. So a bit of a backstory because I know Fire's going to explain the idea a little better. But I can. The backstory is um, we I've been hosting a UHC for a couple of times now, and we've been having some fun. And the last couple last night we were sitting there talking, and we're like, "What would we do? What would we do if mod UHC?" And we started talking about ideas how it'll work, um, because as far as I don't think it's been done before, has it? I mean, I guess it's been done before, but not on a professional level as in make a mod pack get to work properly together in a way that actually makes sense and promotes comp competitiveness between the players and then be able to publish that yeah so basically the the backstory is uhc has been going on for a long time with uh my, my um what's the minecraft mm -hmm. um so we basically cloned what they're doing. We're using the latest snapshot build of, of vanilla Minecraft and basically get teams together, last team standing or last person standing, you know, wins. No natural regeneration of health, so it makes it a little bit harder and the game's in hard mode. So, you know, no you gotta do a lot of, um, yeah, no branch mining, stuff to make it harder. And obviously because it's the latest snapshot build, there's no mods, so you can't really cheat and put things in like uh, X-Ray or mini-maps. Anyway, so long story short with this, we've since we're all from a modding community, everyone who plays in it, everyone's like, oh, we should do modded Minecraft. And it's like, well, or modded UHC. But the problem is is that a lot of the mods want you to do tech trees. I mean, something even as, as good as like Tinker's Construct, I mean, you don't really have time to build a smeltery. You know, you're a nomad, essentially, when you're playing this. You're, you're packing up your stuff and you're moving on. You don't want to stay in one place too long. And you kind of have to tech up as you're going. Well, there's an option in a config option in take on that you don't actually need the smelter if you turn it on. Well, oh, okay. yeah, that's fine. I mean, we're, we're gonna look into that. We haven't exactly examined the configs in detail really much yet. So we're we've been for the last couple of days, ta or last since yesterday, talking about what mods we want to do and probably write a couple just for this. Um, Possibly. Endeavor. Add custom structure generation in for let's say tinkers like put random smell trees across the world with lava already in there for people to use. Possibly something like that, maybe like a little small ruined shack that has I don't know stuff like that we might be able to add in. Sounds cool. And then the long term goal is to get it on a public server, people can come in and play. Automatically, you know, get teams automatically generate proper maps that aren't um, ridiculously, uh, what do you call it? Like, you know, not where the entire 1,000 by 1,000 block area is an ocean. Yeah. That's one of the things I was probably going to make was just a custom uh, biome generator that didn't include ocean as part of the biome. <laughs> or river. That eh, river might be okay. No, river's fine, but yeah, because rivers are small. useful when you need clay. That's true. But the problem with the ocean is it seems, like, at least I know that Minecraft has fixed it in more recent updates, but a lot of the times your world ends up being a lot of ocean and not so much yeah. land. BOP mm. has config options for that. Are you guys thinking of doing it in 1.6 or 1.7? 1.7. 1. 7. 1. 7. That's Good. the issue we're having right now. Yeah, it's a lot of people's mods aren't updated for 1.7 yet. 
a lot of them um, being updated for example, as you speak. Yep. But for example, since this is a nomadic type of thing, you're sitting here thinking, you know what would be cool? Have random meteors drop ore over the world, because you can't branch mine. So a nice way to get ore would be have meteors. But we talked to Reika, and there's not anywhere, at least not in the immediate time where we'd want it available. And that's the issue we're having. We're trying to figure out how to make the gameplay balanced and fair and actually fun and not ridiculously hard because, and I know Fire Eye and everyone else who played last night, it was a pain in the butt to try to get ores because it's, you have to cave. You can't really, you can't branch mine. Mm -hmm. So having meteors spawn the world, meteor storms would be nice because it'd be, oh, look at this, the meteor, you know, have a nice little bonus every so often. Yeah, it's one of the things I actually made my meteors drop ores when they impact, but my meteors are also huge and make massive devastation. So. Which we don't mind. Yeah. The problem is, it had to be in the overworld, and I don't think yours would be on the overworld. Well, no. My meteors would never occur on the overworld. But, just out of curiosity, you do have an API, right? I do have an API. I don't have any way for you to spawn meteors through the API, but I guess it could be arranged. <laughs> well, my thought process here is not, not for the version that we play on so much, Rupert, but like if we were to do a public server, you know, people would be in a lobby, then it would send them to an age, and the age could have instabilities like the meteors falling on them, for example. Yeah. I, like I mentioned earlier in chat, or... Uh have the portals on the edge of the world so people can uh, wrap around if we wanted to, possibly. Yeah. Um, possibly. I, I doubt we're going to do it, but it'd be a possible idea. I guess my question is, does your API XCOMP allow for deleting a world or regenerating the whole world? Um, I know or an age, it, I, I don't say. think it allows for deleting one. Maybe regenerating, but probably not. Because that would be helpful. I mean, I suppose it could always just be done through the command line. And like, if you just delete the age, it's gone. <laughs> and then it would just be forced to regenerate it. Yeah. That's what I usually wind up doing. Uh, held player in chat asks if I remember to take into account the new biomes and the fact that the biomes have a super version of them. I did. And interestingly enough, one of the biomes is in the biome array twice. I don't know. Just is. Well, that's nice of them. Mm hmm. All right. So I actually, yeah, it produced a jar file. I just need to teach it how to do other things with this jar file. Yes, this is when the feed a bra ant script, and he gives yeah. you back nice Gradle script. I want it to, to automatically end. increment the version number. Yeah, that stuff's easy to do. Push I stuff. To get him to do that. Joe, yeah, uh -huh. I'll have to go flag him down and go, Hey, you promised you'd do this for me. Do it. <laughs> Fire. Mm. Yeah, ever, can't forget any eye in uh, Code Chicken Core. <laughs> yeah. Man, playing vanilla Minecraft without any eye, like yesterday when we were doing this, UHC, I'm like, oh how do I God. make an anvil? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Like, NEI you has you need a web me. browser open. I know. NEI has ruined me in Minecraft. I don't know recipes anymore. I just I know NEI. recipes that really? I do often enough. Some of them are just annoying, so I just go click NEI. Yeah. Or I can't remember with the piston where the redstone goes and where the iron goes. Yep. It's just so funny, because I remember I used to play vanilla long before Forge, and I knew all the recipes, and then now it's like NEI has just ruined it for me. It's like Google. Who cares if you know what you're talking about? Just Google it. Yeah. <laughs> you need to learn it. You need to learn enough from Google to make it sound like you know what you're talking about. Yeah. No, the problem is you know those arguments you'd have in a bar that would last the entire night. Like you know whether this means one thing or the other because you know you just didn't know. You just had this you know philosophical discussions while being drunk. You can't do that anymore. Google's ruined that. Yeah, my neighbor was like that. <laughs> he 
he would he would tell me all kinds of things about laws and stuff that were so ridiculous I'd have to go look it up because I'm like this can't be true and you know he's just an idiot but that was the <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that was funny though he's like I read this online sure you did good for you <laughs> I know aye aye did you really read it online or did you think you read it online Okay. Well, I don't know how to configure this to do most of the stuff I want it to do. Uh, particularly... I was thinking I would just go and change the name it uh, produces for the jar files. Because the produced jar file was uh, mistcraft dash. 0.10.13.01 and actually renamed it to 02 and then in here I've changed this to 03 so that it'll actually be the right next version number automatically when I do the next one. Um, yeah, that's pretty easy to do. But Take I a want borrow like 30 seconds to do some of that. Yeah. Uh, but I don't even know how to change the file name that the jar comes out as. Oh, your uh, command window is still open, by the way. Oh, yeah. There we go. The root file name, that's what the base name, archive name, or whatever, is inside of the Gradle file. Um, the rest of it, it just takes the version you spit, and it puts dashes between stuff. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Has anyone played with Agecraft? Agecraft? I've not even heard of it. What is it? Yeah, I, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out what it is. I, there, nothing on the wiki. Oh, I I kind of might understand what this does just from their website. Well, I mean, I know what it does, but I meant more as in what's added uh, exactly, specifically what's in each thing. I don't know. I've never tried it. Hello, chat. Somebody in chat said hello. All right. Uh, what am I doing now? I don't know. That was all the fix me's. Uh, there's a lot of, well, it's not all the fix me's. It was all the important fix me's. I was going to have a lot more to do. A bunch of empty to-dos. Oh, that's because they, uh... Oops, I lost the actual to-do message. Go... I have a to do that just says improve this. Chat's asking Fireball if he's the guy they see in uh, Stray's stream. And indeed I am. There can only be one Fireball. <laughs> see, I told you you are in more people's streams than I am. Who, he me? shows up in uh, Soren's too. Yeah. Yeah, well, I shot the Storms too. I was the guy who got Storm addicted to Blaster Boss. I want to slap him now. Okay. S Comp, can you slap him for me? I live 6,000 miles away. You live closer to him than I do. I thought you live with each other. No. You're brothers, aren't you? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait, where are you? I live in Finland. Why? University. You, you don't watch many of No, I don't. This is the problem. I don't you, hang you know, out with Soren a lot of people. No, like, Soren talks about this like almost every stream. I don't hang out with Soren that much anymore because he never streams his channel. He went somewhere else. And I have no idea where that is. 
At any rate, he, uh, I, I don't know which one it is either. Might help. Uh, but, but yeah, we're siblings. I live in Finland. He lives in Georgia. It's like 6,000 well, miles. I can't slap him in the back of the head. Well, I knew I knew he was in Georgia. I, just didn't, I didn't know you weren't there. Yeah, but typically he doesn't tell people that. Oops. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Not on stream, usually. I was in the so why did you go to Finland for university? Uh, well, a b -b 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 bit of a long story. It's a nice university, and I liked it here. <laughs> so we'd actually come here before. Uh, oh. Soren's here sometimes, here in Finland. Uh, our father works here, so we came here for vacations. Are your parents separated? Mm, no, oh, parents are there with but... Soren. We're in the same area. He doesn't live with them either, but... Oh. Well, doesn't he live at his school? Or? Yeah, there's on campus. Alrighty. So... I don't know what I'm doing now. Might. <laughs> to do. Might. What I'm doing now, I'm fixing these things which got broken by formatting. To do, use this. Alright. <laughs> nice trick there, Fireball. Mm -hmm. That's only because um, Soren has your face as uh, one of his emoto or one of his icons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have all the original mods we talked about in a list right now, except for HQM. And the ones we can't get. Which ones can't? Or the ones you can't get because they haven't updated, or they're not public yet. Uh, Meteorcraft's not updated. I don't. We don't know about Iguana tweaks or Hunger Overhaul. Hunger Overhaul is my this week project. Iguana is tweaks. What? You're not Iguana. Uh, Hunger Overhaul is my this week project. Iguana tweaks. You won't see till they finish updating the API. Until huh. they finish oh, what so they want to do with it. Tweaks is waiting on Tinkers? That's up to Dio at this point, ultimately, what he wants to do with it. But uh, my plan before I handed it to Dio last night was that I wasn't going to update it until we finished, until whatever was being done with the API was done. Because it's just a pain to deal with Tweaks sometimes. It's easy to just do it once, but. You would, I guess, I'd have to ask that to die out. Here's a random question. I know you're saying, but could you make an update that works with the current version? Just it's for us to really use. A pain to update okay. tweaks, especially in the entire mod, needs a lot of redoing because of the way things were done might not work very well with 1.7. Okay. Um, some API stuff has already changed, so it's not like a. You know, if it was a two, three hour thing, I would have done it, but it's like probably a 12 hour job to update. Um, so. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, um, Prog, you still do, um, Iron Chest, right? Yes. Do they output on a comparator? I don't know. Somebody can check. And I can fix that if it's broken. But I, like, never use comparators, so I have no idea. <laughs> I know, I don't either, but... Um... I, I was trying to the other day on something, I was thinking it didn't work. Because I had a thing on my island, but my sky blocked that 
um, if my vacu if my AE system was offline, I wanted it to output a signal with the comparator to shut off some stuff so it wouldn't overflow. Yeah, I don't. I could. I wouldn't know. But if somebody tells me it's broken, I'll gladly fix it. But I don't. That would involve me remembering that I need to check that. Um, I've got like seven thousand other things I need to fix and ensure of first. Alright, no worries, I'll I'll look into it and see if it's broken or not and I'll let you know sometime. Hmm. Yeah, what are you making? I'm trying to make a uh, just a little working environment basically. Oh. Because just one of the setting things... up your test world. Yeah, one of the things I always wind up with is uh, that my test worlds I have to recreate everything every time and I have to update stuff, whatever. And I'm thinking I should just really build a structure. And then use that across the saves, and just always have that as the testing environment. And then my test would be more consistent. Oop. Alright, so, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do at the moment. Also, approximately resemble the uh, oops, structure I built for my uh, Patreon only video, or patron only video on Patreon. I didn't know you had a Patreon page. I do, I have a Patreon page. I created it fairly recently. And there's all of one video on there that only patrons can see, which I uploaded yesterday. But it's kind of a sneak peek at a feature I implemented uh, probably in like the first week or two I was getting back into modding. Uh, that won't come like into play for a while yet. be one two three four five 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 whoops one two three four five. yeah okay I've got one row too many one, two three four five one, two, so are you doing um jam next week Unfortunately, no. I have a uh, theater performance right in the middle of it, so... Uh... They didn't give a lot of notice on it. Yeah. They never do. Yeah. But luckily I was able to get the time off from work, and that worked out good. Okay, see you later, Ripper. See you. Just trying to pick some nice pretty blocks here. I mean, I have a good idea of what I'm going to do for Mod Gem, but I really have no idea <laughs> what I want to do with it. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'll okay, take a look at it later then. Thank you, Recknips, for passing that for me.
That's kind of pretty looking. Okay. Should actually change my current task thingy to that. Building a testing environment. Building structures is not one of my strong suits in Minecraft, actually. I'm really kind of bad at it. things. I was always reasonably content with something that wasn't dirt. Cause dirt a dirt house feels really silly. But something that's not dirt seemed more reasonable. here. <laughs> yeah, I should enlist Morvi. That's a good point. Okay. Oops. Not quite enough stones. Yeah, 1.7 has new music, and I kind of like it. It's... it's nice. It's good music. It's a little odd that Minecraft has new music, just because I'm used to Minecraft having specific music. But, aside from that... Binder. Like the appearance. Oops. One of your podiums isn't uh, facing the correct way. Ah, you're right. Let's grab all these 
various things. I can just ignore the fact that there's ink in it. Make it go away. Because I don't care that there was ink in it. I don't really need to get the ink out of it. It's creative mode. When it comes to building things, I tend to just go with the 9x9 nine nine approach. <laughs> yeah, this is a 10x10. 10 10. I like... I, I kind of like having a center point. No, this is 11x11. 11 11. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hmm, there's a witch. I've not seen one before. Like, not one that I didn't spawn. Interesting. You know what? I realize there's a bug in my world info implementation. Uh, it's it's uh, actually setting things in the overworld from the dimensions. That's an oops. Not to fix Whoops. that. Huh? Speaking of oopses, there's apparently a render issue in. The there's some Z fighting in the skeleton's hips. I don't think it comes up very often, you know. Most people don't spend much time inspecting the skeletons. I know that the witch is floating. Somebody suggested something about stained glass. I've not even looked at the stained glass yet. Can I get stained glass solid pieces? I can. There was a time when they were saying that it wouldn't really be feasible to do this, and then they did it. Yeah, they had to rewrite a whole bunch of stuff, though, to do it. Yep. Well, I, I consider rewriting stuff to be reasonable. <laughs> yeah, especially when it's the way it, it probably should be anyway. Mm-hmm. Generally, if you need to rewrite something, it's not done right. something with the entryways here in a moment. Keep missing.
Oops. Yeah. <laughs> that that's not wood. This isn't something I usually get to do. Just build a structure. Now, if only the light passing through the colored glass would change the color of the light. That would require some serious lighting changes. Uh huh. There's actually a mod. Uh, somebody did that. Yes. Oh, it's not I super just stable. Mojang would ever do it. Yeah, probably not. strange that the music stops playing when I do this. It makes it difficult to determine how loud the music is going to be. Oh, ink.
Why not? It's pretty. F3T in order to uh, get the music to settle out. There was like two or three songs playing at the same time. <laughs> Thank you, Held, for t reminding me of the uh, hotkey for that. Alright. Maybe not every spot. What about some uh, torches for light? Eh, I could. Honestly, I prefer building with uh, glowstone, generally. What is the uh, client GUI that I use to commit? I use a Tortoise Bazaar, I think. Yeah, I use Tortoise. Uh, Tortoise makes a bunch of different GUIs for different kinds of uh, version control systems. actually what I meant to do. Ah, that's nice. I guess technically those corners are still a bit dark. That's okay. be very well illuminated in here. F7, that's what I was looking for. Thank you, chat. And yeah, we're covered. <laughs> they might spawn on my roof! Eh. 
that's probably fine. Let's see. Whoa, that was interesting. Just crashed. I've been told that uh, NEI causes this kind of crash occasionally, so... I'll be back in an hour, so I'm gonna go grab lunch. Mm, okay, see you. Well, I wonder how much of my structure got saved. <laughs> Presumably most of it. Uh, is it possible to make a miscraft age and then make that the overworld using dimension IDs or something? No, not strictly. Uh, you can make it so that if anybody's in the overworld, they're automatically teleported to the age. That would be easy to do with some kind of very basic add-on. Probably even a command block, too. Yeah. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. lined up. Here, grab a bunch of these. Though I really could have just made one and cloned it. Interlinking, disarm, interlinking, disarm. <coughs> hmm, pardon me. I don't know which one's which anymore. just interlinking. Oh, that one was a storm. <laughs> arm. I think you made two disarm books. I did. One was interlinking and one was uh, interlinking or one was interlinking disarm and the other one was just disarm. Uh. Okay, I'm going to wait a moment to see if this has a lightning effect. Uh, yep, has a lightning effect.
What does relative do? Relative is a uh, map development tool, basically. Wait, what was that lightning effect? Disarm. Oh. Just sit here and watch it for a bit, then you'll actually see the uh, disarm effect goes off. That's it. So now you can't hide it on people? You never could. It always had a light oh. effect. Oh. <laughs> I just never, uh, I guess, waited long enough to see. Okay. Uh, I need that render. It's weird. It's it's CPW is speculating that it's actually a vanilla bug, but we don't know. Cozy little place to build uh, to do things from. Oops. What should the centerpiece block be? No. was suggested. And a beacon's not a bad idea. I don't remember how to build a beacon. Like, I think in order to actually make it do anything, you have to, uh... If you put like a diamond block underneath it, it'll make the line shoot up. Okay. Unless you actually want the powers from it, then you have to um, put like a pyramid of diamonds or emeralds or gold or iron underneath it. have to be a 3x3 three three too. Yeah. 
Hmm. Did I still do that wrong? Apparently. I'm wondering if the stained glass is blocking it, because usually it has to have um, direct line of sight to the sky. But you can put regular glass over the top of it. What am I doing wrong, chat? Oh, okay, I understand. So it actually wants me to do... The top of the pyramid is not a diamond block, the top of the pyramid is the beacon. So, if it wants that, it should be like that. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that seems reasonably appropriate. I should look at how they're doing that render. Because there's some things I'd like to do along those lines. Particularly for the outside effect. I've not actually read the Mist Book series. I've read bits and pieces of them, but I've not sat down and read the books. Okay. I've... There's uh, one stone brick, too, that you're missing by the door. Uh, that's where the path is, the stone path going out. Oh, yeah. There we go. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to fix... I should fix that, uh... I realized that there's an error in my implementation of the world info object. Uh, but first... Let's look at the things that have actually changed recently. That's formatting. It's more formatting. More fa formatting here too. So those didn't mean anything. It's just a form formatting. And build log gradle. The version number incremented. Yeah, I know there's a number of inaccuracies between the books and my mod. Uh, primarily that's because Minecraft only allows for so many things and the other half of that is really if I'm building a mod for Minecraft I need to pay attention to Minecraft and not just Myst. So, I have to do some things a little differently. Uh, right, so world info mist. Some of the things I was just routing back through the original, but I don't want to do all these things the original. So What I could do, it would make more sense, 
is uh implemented off the derived world info and then let that work its own magic because then I don't have to care about what's going on oh you can't see the ID I keep forgetting that the bizarre window doesn't go away Right, so all I've done is instead of in, uh, extending from world info, I'm in, extending from derived world info. Uh, because I'll only be in dimensions anyway. That will be the right case here. Uh, and this way it will go back to the original using that implementation basically wanting to do the same thing but there's some things it doesn't want to go back through for instance uh, set spawn is ignored but I'm gonna do those increment world time set world time uh, those things are actually ignored on the other side mostly because of uh, if you do that then you wind up affecting the overworld on the server right and that's what I'm doing at the moment which is wrong so. so basically, everywhere the original existed, I just remove that function, and I will actually make this particular thing lots smaller. Uh, and I can change it to super in some places if I want to keep things like this to-do message here. Definitely don't care about that. Hmm. All right. Uh, those are to-do messages for things. Okay. Now I really don't care about that function. I don't need it. I don't need that. Uh, get last time played. No, not particularly interested. Is thundering. These are things I'll do. Gets the game type. Uh, what kind of options does that provide? Survival, creative, and adventure. I might do things with this. So. Is map features enabled? I don't understand. Uh, get whether the map features accessible strongholds enabled or disabled. That will always be true in my ages. Uh, but it's not used anywhere that I'm going to... Yeah. It won't matter. Just in case somebody else decides to query it. Uh, set game type. <laughs> have I ever made a standalone game? Uh, yes. Actually, I have. More than one. I never released any of them. Uh... Get terrain type. This is the world type. And really, I don't do anything with this. It's not likely that anything... I'll ever have any use for this. But...
Get generator options. Mm -hmm. I don't ever care. I occasionally help Soren with bits of code, but no, I don't actually like sit down and teach Soren to code. Game rules instance. Actually, that last one. I'm gonna do that for the moment. Uh, get game rules instance. Game rules is things for controlling whether or not stuff happens. And I may want to control that on the server or uh, on a uh, per per world basis at some point. So where is this control or er, refer referenced from? Okay. Make it so that mob griefing is enabled in ages or something like that. Uh, is there a spike page? No, there's no spike page. I've never actually tried doing that. Uh, definitely want to play with that. Okay. So that actually should fix that. Let's see here. Go make that commit. found a bug in the uh, hotfix version of Miscraft, the uh, most recent one. Except no, he didn't. Uh, no such method error. The problem he's encountering is that somebody's including the API and the API changed. Yeah, that's all that is. I've got solutions for handling the API in the future and moving forward, but that one's basically somebody's using an outdated version of the API. Chances are you can just remove the API from their inclusion. Uh, the mod or one of the other mods that has been added to the pack he's using also includes a version of my API, which is outdated. Uh, no, building a testing environment is no longer accurate. Thank you, Keybounce. Uh, 
All right, so let's see here. Don't need this. Uh, one of the things which I'm going to really need to do before I uh, release a version of Miscraft 1.7.2 is start moving towards the versioned API system I planned. Uh, I won't really, I won't, I won't wait until I have a working API to release 1.7.2, so you don't have to worry about that. I will get that out there as soon as I can, and then I will build an API version, which works for this. Uh, in the meantime, I probably need to do something for how I handle API. I, I just won't be distributing the API code itself. Uh, but I probably want to rename the API package. So let's do that. So rename. Good afternoon, CPW. Welcome to chat. You're also welcome to join me in uh, TeamSpeak if you like. It's looking pretty good. I've got uh, most things working well and fine, and I don't think there's any major issues. Uh, I'm doing... Uh, at this point, I'm just going to do a couple little things, and then I'm going to try and build a version of... Uh, Mistcraft for Forgecraft again. I've actually already tested the build system once, so it does build fine, I think. I actually didn't test to make sure the resultant jar worked, but it builds. <laughs> uh, all right, so... This is a big rename I'm doing right here. I'm changing the com.xcompwiz.miscraft.api package to API 100. Uh, I'm moving towards API versioning. So I'll actually have different versions of the API that I support. And that way the, the uh, implementation can all be handled however internally and the interfaces will be whatever they are on the front and they won't change anymore and I won't have to worry about people's mods like add-ons breaking except for perhaps if the backend system just can no longer do what they were trying to do. For instance, if they were using the previous API system uh, from 1.6.4 to 1.7.2 a number of things changed in how stuff worked. So it would have been interesting to try and support them across that, but I might have even managed it. Uh, all right. So let's make a real quick bazaar. We need to fix that. Type in down here, bizarre move. This is what I was talking about earlier. So I can auto move stuff. It detects it. Great. And now I can make the commit. It will just do the move instead of replacing everything. Uh, lots of things got modified because the names changed. It moved. And I'm back, by the way. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're Forgecraft 2 ready. Let's go.
All right, in order to do this, we need the console again, which I've actually closed. Oops. <clears throat> Go. Hello, Vimmer. All right, and then what else do I want? I just hit build. That, that should be everything. We should be all set. You should just build for me. <laughs> Oh, I know one thing I need to check before we do that. Let's hide that. I haven't made a server configuration, so duplicate server. And this is going to be important. Now, What's the actual thing I need to launch in order to do the server startup? Were you talking about the uh, cpw.mods.fml.relauncher.server launch wrapper? Server launch wrapper. That sounds good, yeah. Okay, let's try running that. I need to run a server before I actually try and put this on Forgecraft 2. That would be smart. See, because it crashed. <laughs> uh, it actually crashed some CPW stuff, or not CPW stuff, uh, chicken bones stuff. Right, so... Oh, you have any eye. I have any eye, yeah. You can't have any eye. Oh, wait, never mind. You can. There's one of those that crashes if you have it on a server. But it's not any eye. Well, it's crashing the access transformer. So, yeah, chances are I just need to remove any... That's really annoying. Can I do that through... Property... Uh, wrong. Uh, run as... Run configurations. Let's see here. So... It's in the mods folder, actually. Well, for the very moment. Let's just pull those out of the mods folder. I'll remove the mods folder. I know we're great. And then try running it. We're suggesting that I play on Forgecraft 2 after we get the version up on it. That's actually a reasonable suggestion. Uh, no, it still crashed. Am I calling the right thing? Quite possibly not. No such method exception. Minecraft server.main. That's disconcerting. I don't know because I don't use Eclipse, I use IntelliJ, but I believe Gradle has a thing. If you do Gradle, then Eclipse, it will add all the run configurations to your Eclipse environment. It at least does for IntelliJ. 
It didn't from Eclipse. Oh. I had to make the uh, run configurations myself. That's okay. I will... Uh... Hmm... But what I said before is what my server run launch configuration says. So let's see. There's a Gradle W dot bat run server added by Forge Gradle. Hey, you just want a robot to keep for me. Mm, but I want to run it from my dev environment. Let's see here. Yeah, in my dev environment, I just have for the main class just the cpw.mods.fml.relauncher.server.launch.wrapper. And then some options like, you know, ignore invalid Minecraft certificates and some other Java options. Um I actually tried to check how to do this on other things. Let's actually do this. Run configurations. Delete. New. Server. I have no idea what you guys are looking at. Yeah, you can't see the windows that come up for Eclipse because for some reason it doesn't like to do that. Hello? 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 <clears throat> there we go. Just something from the copied over client thing. Apparently, I'm causing errors, which is why we're doing this.
I'm 182. That, pro that class probably has a reference to it. Yeah. Oops, no. Okay, search. Uh, hum. Entity client player MP does not occur anywhere in my code. Yeah, but something might be referencing it. <laughs> like the text doesn't occur, so... Yeah, no, but it might be indirectly referenced. Yeah. Go to the, uh, what was the line that was failing? A packet registration. Okay, then probably one of the packet actions has probably got um, an indirect reference to something that will pull that in, like Minecraft. So, over here. What's in the superclass? Not much of anything. Entity player. the other one? The dimensions class? It's in packet dimensions, I one of my things, so yeah. uh, it int dim ID it doesn't reference hardly anything. In fact it passes in an entity player, but that's it. Let's try commenting out that one line. What's in register packet handler? Uh, M packet 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 handlers dot get get packet type. It's just an ID thing. It, it's it's just a map assignment. So check this function for other things. Is there anything else in that class? Oh, you do have a reference to client custom packet event. <laughs> I do. That should be client side only, huh? Uh huh. So just put a side only side client on that and that'll work. Yep. Fine. Lovely. The hack, you know, the side only side client. <laughs> Well, yep. <laughs> Works, then. Mostly. Let's see here. Something else didn't work. 
Maybe it's the same thing, didn't work. Yeah, it's playing about the same thing. Uh, I have a reference to client over here. Right. You do realize the handler's actually already cast to the right subtype for you. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I uh, spent a while getting the bloody... Uh, the uh, generic annotations right to get it so that uh, the client custom one has a net handler play client and the server oh, one yeah. has a net handler play server. Well, I do have to actually cast it to the actual implementation. Well, I guess Couldn't I don't have to. I know which side I'm on. That's really what I was using that for. So, I do have to cast the actual limitation to get the player entity here. But otherwise, the handler was actually the. I don't think there was a git player entity. No, there's no git player, but uh, you should be able to get the... Oh, it's an inet handler, sorry, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's the interface, so, I need uh, the actual implementation. Yeah, that doesn't have the bloody thing on it, does it? Uh, it's fine. Stupid piece of crap. <laughs> it's just, it's yeah, just well. one cast, and I can pretty much guarantee that it's going to be right. It will always be correct because uh, there's no other implementation of those. Yeah. So... It's only Netty's auto-generator that actually makes it that you have to have that. Ah, uh, okay. And this function is no longer used. And now that! That should work. <laughs> should. <laughs> Let's try it. Still crash. Well, actually, when I say crash, it's just an error. I actually have to close the window. So, bravo on making that stable. Apparently I'm referencing... G oh, this is the GUI screen thing that I fixed on 1.6.4, but uh, forgot to copy <laughs> the fix over to here. Yeah. Fortunately, I know how to fix it. So... This needs okay. Ah, it's already got that. Doesn't need it again. Okay, sorry, I wasn't looking at chat. Uh, Argument about something. Yeah. Almost always. <laughs> well, you know. The last two.
All right. Now try running it. See what else crashes. Uh, looking pretty good, actually. Act and get all your stuff working. Next question. All right. Oh. It's it's up and running. I'm actually going to shut it down and uh, one try dropping the mods back into it to see if that works. And then two, I'm going to uh, try replacing the world with the one I made in my single player thing here. Starting up the server. It's launching. Nope, it crashed. Didn't like any eye. NEI is a bit weird, which is annoying. I'm not sure if it... NEI is what? Oh, you've got, you're got running it in 1.6. Am I? That one appears to be running 1.6, yeah. 1.6043. Oh, yes, it's running uh, Java 1.6. All right, so... JRE, alternate JRE... Go. Yep. There we go. Let's try Have it. you done some NEI integration? I've not actually done any NEI integration. It's just much easier to test with. Now I've left most of the uh, NEI integration up to Held. Held player does a uh, add-on for yeah. this craft. Yeah. Okay. So it's up and running. Let's run. Client. So actually, Mark, this is J7. Run this one. Okay, launching the client. Okay. I just started a single player world. I don't know why. <laughs> oh no, you can all see the IP address. <laughs> 7001. Yep. It's logging in is taking a long time. Oh, it's not going to let me log in. You know, uh, <laughs> huh. um, can actually specify your user credentials in the uh, in the um, the run profile. Ah, complete with password. Yes, indeed. But you have to put them on the command line, which means they're not going to be invisible to anyone watching your stream. Yes. Or you Probably. can make your server offline. <laughs> yeah, that would yeah. be better.
Okay, so... Doing that... Uh, server properties... I know you can't see this at the moment, that's okay. I'm not going to be doing it for very long here. Online mode is false! Now, I'll try running a server. As you can see, it's starting up. But you made a build. Uh, we are running 1075 at um, at uh, Forgecraft 2. Uh, you might just want to spin it up in that. It should be fine. There's no big differences. There was more ID cleanup. Mm, but okay. I tracked down a, a weird bug. Hmm. There we go. I logged in. So, let's make sure that everything's working. This is one of the fun things about having set up this environment. These look right. Tiles? <laughs> you like right into the beginning. Disconnected from server. Why? Uh, items type cannot be cast integer. Structures might be screwed up. That's really strange. Who's trying to do that? Message to message encoder. It's in Netty. Generate packet from FML embedded channel. Added in adding entity to track. Hmm. 